Hi, this is Steve Age, and welcome to Mac Pro Video's first look at Logic 9. And you know, on the surface, it doesn't look like too many things have changed. However, as you start getting into it, you'll find that there's a lot of new stuff here. And some of it is very subtle, and some of it is really spectacular. So I thought I'd start out small and look at the little things. For instance, key focus. Because in Logic's multi-paned consolidated arrange page, it's sometimes hard to remember where your data is going. But now, if you look closely around every pane, as you change areas, there's a white, bright stripe. And you can't miss it, which is going to make finding where your data is flowing a lot easier. Sometimes it's these little things that will save you more time than you can even imagine. Next, let's take a look at another little thing that is really cool. And it's so simple, but it's really, really nice. And that is now the channel strips in the Arrange page are labeled and colored the same as they are in the mixer. And again, this is going to speed up workflow. There's a lot more clarity in Logic 9. And you can name them right here on the channel strip, whether you do it in the channel strip on the mixer or you do it on the channel strip on the Arrange page. It's the same channel strip. So wherever you name it, the name will appear, whether it's on the Arrange page or in the mixer. DAWs like Logic 9 are really complicated, so whatever we can do to keep organized is something we should do, and Apple has now made it easier with Logic 9. Let's talk about the advanced quantization. What is that? Well, it used to be called the extended region parameters, and you'd have to pull it down from a menu. Well, now it's right where it belongs in the region parameter box, just one disclosure triangle away. That is so awesome. Now, for those of you who score movies, it's important to know that the movie menu items have changed. They're no longer under options. I never really understood what movies were doing under options because movies are files, right? So it's important to know now all of your movie controls for opening and removing and importing audio are located under the file menu right here. Open movie remove movie, import audio, export audio to movie, all of that great stuff is now in the file menu, right where it belongs. There was another bunch of stuff under the option menus that had to do with automation, right? Track automation. Well, it's not there anymore either. And they've located track automation right where it belongs. Not here, but in the track menu on the arrange page, right here, track automation. It makes perfect sense to me. And now when I think of automation, I'll go, oh, that's track stuff. I know exactly where to find it. Another great move by the logic team, both literally and figuratively. There are lots of graphic updates throughout that are very subtle that make it a lot easier to look at. But one of my favorite ones is the new graphics for the channel EQ. It's bright green. You could see it from a mile away and it looks really, really cool. Check this out. Logic 9 is chock full of lots of little improvements that when you add them all together, they'll speed up your workflow and keep you organized. Okay, enough of the little things. Let's move on to the big stuff.